Hi, I'm Connie Colosi, Director of Media Text and Digital Learning. Please join us for our next segment where we learn about the Emma Awards. And uh, we get to see the work of some very talented elementary school students here in Pinellas County with video production. Emma's is the Educational Media Awards mm -hmm. and it started with Jim Harbin who is this, it's a state honorarium uh, award that kids around the state of Florida receive or work for in the field of media production and videos. This year we were very lucky we were able to go to the St. Petersburg Seminole campus of the Digitorium. A and digitorium. The digitorium. So what is a digitorium? The digitorium is this a phenomenal room at the college that is all technology. The room has uh, a screen that's surround, it's a, it's a round screen and it literally looks like surround sound and surround panorama and we had two videos going on one side. We had the logo in the middle. The, the stage was set beautifully. It was wonderful. And the coolest part was they were ready for us. It took us 20 minutes to set up. That's never happened ever. It was fabulous. What was cooler was the fact that the kids could go one way, then up the ramp, across the stage, get their trophy, smile at everybody, see their video on the big screen, and then they go back to their seat. The Emmas are great for the kids to see other movies and see what other students are doing and then kind of see they like to compare themselves and just you know it's nice to see where you fall so they definitely a good program it's a fun thing at the end of the year because you know at my school we have productions all year round i just finished a huge you know original musical about two weeks ago and the is a nice way to till out the end of the year like today we had um we showed all our shows at school we had to do two viewings to fit everyone in the theater. The show, our show was like an hour and a half, but all the videos that they put together, and the kids at school love it. They see what's being produced just by children, and the kids sat through the whole thing, to about 600 kids, and they just went crazy with it. Just loved it. First place goes to? <laughs> That's great. For Pranks Gone Wrong. prank videos they're so funny we should try them on our teacher yeah what should we do first um let me think oh what about the old water bucket prank what's that that's when you get a bucket fill it with water tie it to a door and then when the teacher walks through she she gets soaked yeah let's do that right there's water in it all we got to do is tie it up to the door watch digital learning monday and friday at 6 30 and saturday and sunday at 12 30 on wpds tv 14 Pinellas County Schools Television.